As a doctor and a citizen of our state, it saddens me greatly to learn of the inexcusable, extraordinary waiting times that our children and young people have to endure to gain an initial assessment for mental health services. In February 2017, over 2,500 vulnerable children languished on such a list, a staggering 44% increase on the preceding year, some waiting greater than 24 months. Many parents believe that the chronic waiting times is a direct consequence of lack of investment in our child and adolescent mental health services, or CAMS, resulting in staff shortages and a piecemeal approach to the provision of care depending on where you live across our country. Any government is judged on how we treat our most vulnerable, the elderly frail and our youth. Denying critical health care to this cohort at a pivotal time in the development is a shameful indictment on our democracy.